So um, a lot of people have trouble with this word racism because they feel like, um, well, that person did that thing, but like they're a good person, so they're not racist. Like that might have been a little insensitive, but they're not racist because I know that they're a good person. Or they look at themselves and say, I, I feel like I'm a good person, I can't be racist. The problem with saying that statement is that you are separating yourself from overt racism versus like this unintentional racism. I would say the implicit bias typically shows up in what we assume are good intentions. Someone might have good intentions when talking to like a really tall black male when they're like, oh my gosh, you must play basketball. You know, and I've seen that so many times or someone who's like, your hair is beautiful or they run up and like just grab somebody's hair or, or like, wow, the texture is so different, you know? And they might think like, you know, I'm just trying to be like a nice person. I'm just trying to connect with that person. But what that's doing is you're projecting an assumption of that person. And you might not think that that assumption is harmful but if that person is getting that maybe 20 times a day, they are forced to defend their individuality and they're forced to prove that they're a certain type of person. One way to be a good advocate is to realize that you can't be the center of the fight and you shouldn't be the center. And one of the best ways to be a good advocate is to step back and give the spotlight to the people who haven't previously had a voice.